Got the MH19 power hammer all set up with our mid-size thumbnail shrinking dies, and then I've got our blank here for the driver side of the Cadillac engine bay piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do our initial shrinking around the front edge that I marked on our panel to get the basic shrinking done, and then I'll switch the tooling out for the smaller thumbnail dies, and I'll come in and do our light shrinking around the edge. So after the initial shrinking on the power hammer here with the mid-size shrink dies and then switching over to the minis, you can see that I've got the, the basic shape work put in and now we have to go back to the power hammer and start blending it out. So I'm not going to get super into detail on this one, just due to the fact that it's kind of a repeat of the passenger side panel that I made. So you know, I'll just kind of speed through things on this one. This will be a little bit shorter of a video because we're mirroring the other side. But I'll blend all of this stuff out and then I can start checking it with radius gauges to start comparing it to the other side to make sure that they match. So I'll get the hammers all set up and we'll go over to blending. All right, I'm back at the wheeling machine, and in one of the previous videos, I talked about using a wheel with a rubber-coated upper anvil, um, and I really didn't elaborate on that much, so I'm gonna do that now. So I'm going to end up putting the form in the driver side section I'm working on, and how I'm using the wheel for that is the upper anvil on a normal wheel is solid, and so is the lower wheel. So you're squeezing the metal between two hardened wheels, which is stretching the material. So with this having a rubber coated upper, it doesn't have enough pressure to actually stretch the metal. So you're not really shaping. You're gonna be forming because it's essentially only bending. So the lower anvil will push up into the rubber and allow us to put the form or the bend or a radius into our material without doing much stretching. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I've got a two inch lower, or a two inch radius lower anvil and the rubber coated upper. So what we'll do is I'm going to run it here in this section where it's supposed to be a constant radius over. So we'll put a little pressure on it here. And that lower anvil will push up into the rubber and give us a nice consistent radius in this area. I'm not really twisting on the panel and I don't have it super tight. I just have it to where it's gently pushing up into the rubber coated upper wheel. So you can see that it really tightened that radius up We've still got a little bit of loose material here, which I'll shrink back in the power hammer, but at least now this radius is pretty, pretty uniform, and I need to go and blend the top of these shrink marks out in the air planisher. So that'll be the next stage, is I'll just tighten this up real quick. I won't film it, because it's just more power hammer. And then I'll go back to the air planisher and we'll start blending this out and refining the radius some more.
All right, I got the driver side front inner panel kind of roughed in. I have marked here, there's a little bit of a low spot I can feel, but it's pretty close. And just like on the other side, I can't push this down to test fit it because this section needs reversed. So this will go here, but just like on the other side, I can come over here and I can check it to the fender and kind of see where we're at. And it feels pretty close. So what I'm gonna do once I get back on this piece, I'm gonna uh, take an adjustable contour gauge and I will check the contour across this way down and this way and I'll match it to the passenger side inner piece. So that'll be the next stage on this piece when I get back to it. But I'm gonna take a little bit of a detour from these pieces on this car. Uh, the radiator showed up, so now I can go ahead and get the radiator and the fans mounted and the front inner piece uh, like the core support sheet metal, I can get all that fabricated and going in. So the next video after this one won't be on these sections, it'll be me getting the radiator and the fans fit up, and then I can start getting back to this stuff. I just kinda wanna get the radiator in there so I don't run into any problems with these pieces later on. So that wraps it up for this video. So again, uh, let me know what you think down in the comment sections, you know, good, bad, and different uh, ideas you want to see on future videos. Uh, most importantly, thanks for watching, and please rate, review, and subscribe, and tell your friends, and we'll catch you on the next video.